Hello, it is July 13, 2014, 9.19 p.m. This is my second, sorry, not four, sorry, I'll just throw that away, second video on my channel. Now, topic we're going to talk about today is I let everybody know in my last video that who I am about and all that, that, you know, I like the Eagle and YouTubers and video gaming and back at wrestling and all that. But that's what I want to touch base on today. Backyard wrestling. Everybody is always downing on backyard wrestling. It's like, you know, they always down on it because, oh, you're not properly trained. You don't know what you're doing. You're going to get yourself hurt. Okay. But the thing is, though, is the people that do down on it is the people that's never done it before. I mean, there's people out there. It's been in the. It's been in TNA. It's been in Ring of Honor. It's been in the WWE. It's done backyard wrestling. Look at Mick Foley. Yeah, the guy that's known as the glorified stuntman by Ric Flair. You know, Mick Foley is what preceded. He's what transcended backyard wrestling. He's the one that dove off of the top of his roof onto his friend, and he went through a mattress. He, everybody likes backyard wrestling because it's fun. Everybody likes it because it's fun to do. It's fun to do because we enjoy it. We enjoy backyard wrestling because it's fun. Yeah, you may, you know, pe people, you say people get hurt, okay. Well, people get hurt in the ring. We're wrestling on mattresses. We're wrestling on the ground. People make base, bases to wrestle on, you know. There's backyard wrestlers that wrestle in rings. I mean, as we're take, we take precautions of what we're doing to make sure everybody is safe. We don't do it for the glory. We don't do it because we're wanting to make money off of it. We don't do it like that. No, we do it because we want to have fun. We want to hang out with our friends. And we want to make ourselves happy even more. That's why I like doing it. I've done it for 16 years and I've loved it. It's made me happy doing that. Okay. <clears throat> My goal as a little kid was to become, you know, was to go on to be a pro wrestler and to go to the companies at the time that was still in business, like WCW and ECW and WWF at the time, not WWE. But, and be, I've always wanted to be the world's heavyweight champion. That's all I've ever wanted to be as a little kid, to go on to one of those companies and win the world's heavyweight title, because that was... A lifelong dream of mine to do that but I'll never get to do that because they say they may they say size doesn't matter but it you but when you see it does because when you see who is the world champion constantly in the WWE now John Cena <clears throat> I, you know I, I respect to John Cena for what he's done outside the ring with the Make-A-Wish and everything else, but I'm tired and tired and tired of seeing John Cena. I'm tired of seeing him. I want to see something fresh. That's why we had people like Daniel Bryan. That's why we have people like CM Punk. That's why we have people like Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and the Wyatt family. People like that is what makes people like me and every wrestling fan in the world happy. That's right, I said wrestling. Not sports entertainment, wrestling. Wrestling is what matters. TNA, they matter when it comes to wrestling because they got actually got wrestlers that can actually wrestle. But their product sucks because they don't know what they're doing on making their company better. That's why I like companies like Ring of Honor. I like companies like Pro Wrestling Gorilla, BWG. I like companies like Chikara. 
you know, people, companies like that, that actually wrestles and wrestlers like that that show dominance and they prove each and every day that they're working their hardest to, you know, show that they're the very best. And that's sort of somewhere what happens in backyard wrestling for all of us. We work our hardest to prove that we want to, you know, put on the, one of the, we want to put on the best show out there. I mean, I've seen shows in Australia, backyard wrestling. I've seen backyard wrestling in England. I've seen backyard wrestling here in the United States, especially up in the Northeast. And it just blows my mind of what they can, of what they do for what they can do it on. And it blows my mind for what we can do for what we do it on because we try our hardest and my God, we do very damn good. So, for the people out there who down on backyard wrestling, don't down on it. It's not worth your time to down on us. It's not. You know, you see it and all that, just, you see it, just watch it, and then keep your comments to yourself. That's the only thing you can do. And if you like what you see, you know, be like, hey, good job, man. That was awesome what you could do. But don't think that we're actually out there trying to make money out of it or say, hey, we're the best at all, at best of what we do. And I'll say we're better than CM Punk or better than Chris Jericho or better than The Miz. Because we're not. Would we like to be like that and everything? Yes, we would. But we're not. But in closing this video, you know, wrestling is what is out there. Wrestling is dying. Everybody can admit it. It's dying. Because... It's not like what it used to be back in the 80s, back in the 90s, and back in the early 2000s. It's not like it used to be anymore. It's just turned into in a garbage, in my opinion. It's not worth the time to watch anymore, in my opinion. And that's why people do backyard wrestling or do stuff in the independence, because they want to sh give a good, put on a good show for everybody. That's uh, what's the word for it? That's another direction for them to like. So, if you like what you hear, so give it, give me a thumbs up. Share this on Twitter. Um, share it on Facebook. Uh, leave a comment in the uh, comments below. Let me know what you want me to talk about in my next video. And I'll see you later.